Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Kotobukaya Art Effects Collectible Toys Deathstroke 1 6th scale pre painted PVC statue. For those who may know, know this already, Spots, one of Spots' favorite supervillains in the DC Universe is Deathstroke. And when I found out that Koto Bukaya was going to be producing a Deathstroke 1 6th scale uh, pre-painted statue, it was definitely a figure that I wanted to not only pick up, but also to review and promote to you guys out there so you guys can see some of the products that Koto Bukaya are producing. Uh, down below is a picture of Deathstroke. Not all, not necessarily as cool as this very awesome image of Deathstroke down the side of the packaging, along with the word Deathstroke. And on the back of the package, not only do you see Deathstroke with his mask on, Deathstroke also gives you the option of having an open mask, which we'll all have a look at when we get this opened up. The read-up for Deathstroke Artifact Statue says a Kotobukaya Japanese import. Kotobukaya has created several fantastic artifact statues based on the DC comic characters, but there hasn't been any DC comics from the New 52 until now. Slade Wilson was a member of the United States military, chosen for advanced training due to his peak physical condition and strength of will. He was also experimented on by the very same government he fought for and with the enhancements they gave him became a mercenary and assassin. As one of the most dangerous men in the world, he goes by the name of Deathstroke, appearing in his own comic as part of the DC Comics The New 52. The character was reintroduced to the world with an updated costume but the same hardcore attitude, arsenal of weapons and superhuman abilities. A powerful addition to the DC Comics Artifacts lineup, Deathstroke is captured in a fierce martial arts stance. Deathstroke wears his newly designed armor with a sleek bodysuit, built-in boots, a sturdy utility belt, textured male-like armored torso, and heavy shoulder harness. His pose is a partial lunge while he holds his sword in a two-handed guard position. Um, as ever aimed at his enemies so he can cut them to pieces all the elements of Deathstroke's armor are expertly crafted or expertly sculpted from his spiked boots to his fearsome skull like helmet while the detailed paint applications show off his traditional gray and orange color scheme um, as an added bonus Slade's uh, removable faceplate is attached via magnets so you can display him in his fully armored look or unmasked to reveal his scowling uh, countenance and eye patch. Sculpted by Junosukai Abbey, Deathstroke stands nearly 12 inches tall in the Artifact's 16th scale on a special display base. Slade Wilson is the perfect villain anti-hero to add to your collection, and he looks great displayed alongside previous Artifact's statues like Batman, uh, Black Costume, or future New 52 releases. Uh, having said that, Spot is extremely excited to get this opened up. I am going to take myself a break, and when we come back, we're going to have a better look at the Kotobukaya Deathstroke 1 6th scale pre-painted pre PVC statue. There's definitely more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Out of packaging, Deathstroke is a phenomenal statued piece. Before we have a look at Deathstroke himself, let's have a look at some of the things that come with Deathstroke. For starters, he comes with a mirrored Deathstroke display base. You can see that there are two pegs, one being above the A, one being at the top of the K, to support the statue when you want to have him displayed. We'll show you that in a second. Of course, the other accessory that he comes with is this really nice, broad sword. Uh, paint, in, paint not only in the sword, but the mask we'll have a look at as well. And also the main, the main draw of this set, the Deathstroke, are all phenomenally painted. Uh, I even like just the additional wash that they put on the blade itself. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, again, quite substantially long, gauging how big the statue itself is. I mean, that's a really long blade. And lastly, the other accessory that he does come with is his his uh, conventional, well, his his iconic uh, mask, 
which we'll look at on the figure in a second, but I just want to show you the mask by itself. I like the coloring of orange that they went with. It's not quite a light orange as much as it is more like, um, almost like a tanned orange. Of course, the singular red eye. On the inside is the, this will fit, this will be the magnet, uh, well, this will be the metal piece that the magnet will sit against to, uh, to affix this to the head of Deathstroke. Again, we'll look at this in a second. We'll have a look first at the Deathstroke statue. Now, as one-sixth scale statues go, Spot really hasn't picked up very many. But I really had my eyes set on this one. I mean, there's a couple of Kodo by Kui, uh, Kodo by Kai, uh, Kodo Bukaya. There we go. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bunch of Kodo Bukaya figures, statues, that Spot's really beginning his eyes on. The upcoming Jim Lee, uh, Superman, really want to get my hands on. And certainly as well, the Man of Steel, Kodo Bukaya statue spot's really been looking to get as well. But I mean, Deathstroke here is phenomenal. Um, uh, he's a substantially heavy piece as well. Um, I like the stance that they have him in. Um, he's definitely poised to be lunging towards his adversaries using his sword. Um, now, while I thought the majority of the statue was going to be all one sculpted piece, I was very pleasantly surprised to find that a lot of the components are extra pieces on. And while you cannot necessarily remove it, by having these as separate pieces, it does feel like there is more components to them than just a straight out statue. Um, having a look though at his face, you know, I'll just move the camera up a little bit here. Having a look at his face, he is right now currently unmasked. You can see the Slade Wilson face. Ext just the detailing on it is, is really nice. You can see the one scarred eye. And the scruff, the lower beard as well, and the nice white. I mean, the, the coloring that they put in there as well really gives it a sense of almost a, a cross between a comic inspirement and a realistic approach. I'm also certainly to take nothing away from the armor itself. Uh, once again, going black and relying on the the more tanned orange, um, it it carries off very very well on this piece. I was also pleasantly surprised to find that the chainmail in his upper torso. Uh, feeling it, it feels as if it is a separate mesh piece, but again, it's all one sculpted piece to the upper torso. And there's the back of the, the uh, statue there. Now, by matter of preference, some people may prefer to have a Deathstroke with the Slade Wilson face visible, but uh, for me, uh, for me specifically, I prefer the uh, the Slade Wilson mask. So all you have to do is just take the mask, and again, it's a magnet piece. He's just going to snap that into place. In fact, just slip this into place. There we go. You have to actually tuck it underneath. Let me show you guys again here. You have to take the mask and tuck it underneath his collar, and then that snaps into place. I mean, that that is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. You see it right there. To complete the full effect, let's give him his sword. And uh, I think as far as we know, it's just I'm gonna unscrew this. There we go, I'm gonna unscrew the handle here. And you're gonna just slide it through his two fists, making sure to clear it and get to the other side. Like so. And once through, you're gonna take the end of his sword handle pop that back into place. And you've got Deathstroke just perfectly posed. In fact, let's move him back a little further, get him to stand properly. And you can get the full effect of how, just again, how incredible this piece is. Now he does have two peggles on the bottoms of his feet, so we can peg his feet surprisingly very easily into the display base. And you've got yourself a really nice piece, like so. Again, this is Spot's first, and hopefully not last. This is my first Kotobukaya statue. Couldn't think of anyone better to go with than Deathstroke. He's such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And 
because of his size, Spot apologizes is that not all of him is in camera frame right now, but uh, hopefully you guys can see by through the video here just how beautifully sculpted, and not only how beautifully sculpted, but how perfectly painted he turned out to be. Now, if you are interested in picking up Deathstroke, he is available in most comic book stores. And you know what, too? The beauty about a lot of these designer pieces is that even if they're not in the comic book stores that you go to, speak to your comic book uh, individual that works there and ask them, tell them that you're interested in picking up pieces like this. And a lot of times they can order them in for you. Um, but uh, I, again, I'm extremely impressed with how well he turned out. Um, he does feel heavy, but I don't feel as if he's top heavy, despite the fact that his his base is is a narrow piece. I don't feel like he is going to fall over on me. Um, with the sword intact, um, he's definitely just a really awesome piece to have on display, and that's definitely as soon as I finish this review, that's the one thing I'm going to be doing next is putting him on display. Um, can't recommend him highly enough. If you are a fan of Deathstroke and really just DC statues as a whole, you definitely want to get your hands on this guy right here. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Koto Bukaya a Deathstroke 1 6 scale painted statue. And certainly thanks for watching as you always do, guys. And stay tuned. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.